It's time to go Hollywood. Hollywood Squares, that is. It's a tic-tac-toe with a twist. Get your X's and O's by figuring out whether a star is giving the correct answer or making one up. And keep in mind that they don't always tell the truth. Consider the question, then agree or disagree with our electronic celebrities and the big bucks will be yours, if you're right. Test your knowledge and intuition. Is the star in the center square giving you a straight answer? Is that ridiculous response really right? Only you can decide. Competition is keen and excitement runs high when you play the fast-moving Nintendo version of this hit television game show. It's fun for everyone. And this, viewers, is Hollywood Squares, brought to us by Rare and Game Tech, released in 1989. Also available on the Commodore 64 and the PC. And wouldn't you know it, not a lot of information about the NES version of this game. Lots of information about the TV show, but that's about all there is to it. Uh... Not a bad game though. Um, really plays out fairly well. A lot like the, uh, a lot like the show does. Questions aren't uh, incredibly difficult. Um, Sprite-wise, it's a little goofy, but not too bad. There were two home versions of the game uh, produced in 1967. Ideal issued one in 1974 with a picture of Peter Marshall on the box, and this was the first of the app adaptations to feature humorous names for the celebrities. A similar board game based on the UK version under the title Celebrity Squares was released by Buckingham Toys five years later in 1979 with a picture of Bob Monkhouse on the cover. Milton Bradley produced two versions, versions excuse me, first in 1980 based on the Marshall version and then in 1986 for the Davidson version. Uh, these are different hosts of the show, by the way. With uh, a 3D board and 12 celebrities to insert into the board. Parker Brothers released a similar game in 1999, based on the uh, Bergeron version. Game Tech, good old Game Tech, released this version in 1988 for DOS, Commodore, uh, 64, and Apple II, and the NES one came out later and was based on the Davidson version. In 1999, Tiger Electronics released an electronic LCD handheld game based on the uh, Bergeron version. 2002, official Hollywood Squares website had an online version using celebrities that were on during the week. 2010, Ludia released a version for the PC, Wii, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and PlayStation 3. And all of the games were based upon the 2002-2004 format, uh, featured the voice of host Tom Bergeron, and video clips of celebrities Brad Garrett, Kathy Griffin, uh, Jeffrey Tambor, and Martin Mull as the center square. I'm going to tell you, it's a game tech game. Uh, based on a game show again, which means it's you know, not so much a fun sit down and play it by yourself kind of game, but could be a lot of fun with some friends. 